Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be talking about Physicians Formula's Butter Buddies collection, and I have pretty much the entire collection here that I picked up from Ulta. The only item that I am not going to be showing today is the highlighter, and I'm going to talk about this first because it was a saga. And I'm just gonna get it out of the way so that you guys understand like why I'm not reviewing the highlighter. So first I ordered the entire collection online, and then when they delivered it, the highlight was completely shattered. And like, I don't even want to pick it up because it's like, it got everywhere in the package. So then I talked to Ulta's customer service. They sent me another one. And then that one was shattered too. So I have two shattered butternut highlighters from them in the Butter Buddies collection. You can see one of them, it's getting everywhere again. Um, but one of them I've already wiped off, which is why it looks a little bit cleaner. Anyway, and then I tried to contact all the stores around my area. And then all of them said that they didn't have them. And by that point, I had already asked for a refund, and then I'm trying to film today, so I did try to swatch um, some of it, so I'll actually pull some of it off of here and just show you guys the color. Um, it's actually quite a deep highlight. Uh, here you go. Um, so unless you are more of that, like, if you want a more gold kind of a um, highlight, this actually looks pretty champagne here. Um, but in person, it really is quite a bit deeper. So unless you are more on the deeper skin tone, um, I would say that, you know, this might not work for you just because it's a little bit deeper. The one thing I will say is it feels very, very soft, very silky, um, just based on like the excessive amount of loose powder that's just hanging out all over my desk now. Uh, but yeah, so that's, that's the butternut highlighter. If you decide to pick up the highlight, don't order it online. I would probably recommend this is one of those items that I think just doesn't ship well. I would probably just go pick it up in store if you can find it. So let's move on to the powders that I do have. Um, I have not powdered my face at all, so we are going to go and check out the blush, bronzer, illuminating powder, mattifying powder, and the banana powder. So let's go ahead and start with the banana powder. So the this hell is one, banana powder? <laughs> it's the color. It's yellow. It's called baby butter. So first off, let's talk about the packaging. So the thing that really drew me to the packaging was a, look at how adorable it is with like the faces. I just think it's so cute. Um, but then also check out the thin packaging. This is your, this is like the normal standard physician's formula packaging that is so bulky and I don't really like it and I hate it. It's kind of just like, why? It's unnecessary. So yeah, so they changed to this sort of a flat packaging, which I was like way more on board with. I hope that they actually take, this is a limited edition collection by the way, but I do actually hope that they take notes on the packaging and move their butter bronzers and stuff like that over to this so much better. Minus the fact that it shattered twice in the mail. But I think that was just the highlight. I've already concealed and foundationed my face, so those are not words, but foundation, whatever. Uh, so let's go ahead and try the powders. The banana powder I'm gonna go ahead and use to set my under eyes. You can actually see there is a tiny little bit of a cast there, um, but let's see how this goes. One of the things to know is that it definitely does smell a lot like their butter bronzers. I'm gonna use a setting brush to just grab some of this powder and let's get to setting my under eye. Banana powders usually are really great for setting the under eye. It kind of just helps with brightening the entire area and I actually feel like, I think you can actually see it quite a bit, especially on my right eye. A little, take a little bit more on this left side. Let's go ahead and see actually if they have a description here. Yep, so it has a proprietary butter complex. I feel like all of these are pretty much gonna say the same things. For the most part, yeah, so this is just translucent color correcting finish unlike any other. So more or less the descriptions of all of these are the same. So yeah, so let's go ahead and keep moving along. So the next one I'm going to use is the mattifying powder. So this is butterscotch, lovely color, translucent matte. And this one I'm going to take all over my face except for my cheekbones where I would normally put some highlight on. I'm just gonna use this kind of just to help uh, set my foundation down and we'll use a fluffy brush for that. That's what this one looks like. It's pretty dusty. 
Oh, wow. I can see a difference in person, but I think it's really hard to see it on camera. But you can kind of see how my skin just looks a little bit smoother. It definitely did mattify down my foundation. So yeah, so I really like that. That works really well. And then let's go ahead and try the illuminating powder. This is the Bitter Butter, which I think is really funny. Translucent Glow. Ooh, this one is quite a bit more dusty. I don't know if you could see that. Could also be the brush that I'm using. But you can actually see, compared to the mattifying one, I can definitely tell that there is a difference in formula. One is quite a bit more matte than this one is. There's just a little bit of glow in there. As you move it around, you can kind of see it reflecting back on you, whereas with this, it's pretty flat. Actually, I can kind of see a little bit more of a radiance to this powder as well compared to the mattifying one. As I just turned my face, you can kind of see that gleam, right? Mmm. I really like it when products <laughs> do what they say they're going to do. I know that's like baseline, but it's really nice. Okay, let's get to the bronzer and the blush. So the bronzer is Butter Puff. Super cute. Mm, scrumptious. If you haven't watched the movie Spy, starring all-star cast Melissa McCarthy, Jason Statham, Miranda Hart, Alice and Janney, Jude Law, you should absolutely watch that movie. It's the best. Okay. Let's go ahead and try the bronzer now that I've placed in a not paid advertisement for a really great movie. So here is the bronzer. I'm actually going to go ahead and just swatch this. I'm curious to see what the shade is. I feel like this is not going to show up on my skin. Can you guys see that at all? I can't even see it. Okay, so that's kind of weird to me that the highlight was quite a bit deeper and yet this bronzer is light. Where's the cohesion, if that makes sense, you know? But maybe if I maybe if I pack this onto my face, you know, it'll really show up. So let's get to applying this bronzer. Let's see what happens. Do you see anything? You can see a little bit of a difference, but this is, I'm really kind of packing it on just to give me some sort of an impact. So I would say if you are on the tanner side, this is not a bronzer I would recommend to you. I think I'm finally, I'm building and packing on a lot of it so that you can finally see it. I will say though, my skin feels so incredibly smooth. Like as I'm placing all of these products on top of each other it's literally like it feels like glass almost which is really really neat so I think I, I think I'm really gonna enjoy like the illuminating powder the mattifying powder because it's done a really great job of literally just like everything looks so smooth and just so like I said kind of kind of glass like which I really like so all right, let's go ahead and try this blush now. This is Miss Butterfly. This is the Butter Buddies blush. I'll go ahead and swatch this for you. It has a little bit of a shine and a shimmer in it as well. So it's not a completely flat blush. Ooh, this is actually quite pretty. Is it me or is like none of this showing up well on camera? Let me see if I can pack this on a little bit more. Right here. So. Kind of a, again, kind of a, a lighter blush. I actually am slightly concerned that with more of a tan, if, you have, if you're really, really tan or you're, you have a bit of a darker complexion, I wonder if this will show up a little bit ashy on you, but let's go ahead and check. For me, if you have my coloring, I think, actually that's quite pretty. Uh, if I compare left to right, this one has just kind of that, it's like a very, it matches my eyeshadow really well, that's one thing, but it kind of gave me, gave me a very like healthy, light pink kind of a glow, nothing too crazy, and it is showing up actually for me.
now because I don't have, I don't want to use the butter highlight. This is just, it's just, I said I wouldn't talk about it anymore, but it was such a saga to me that like, why? Anyway, it's okay. What I did get in the mail though from Ipsy was I did pick up the Violet Voss Pro Highlighter Collection in rose gold. So I'm actually just going to use this instead. So I'm going to do that and we will be right back. Okay, everyone. So that is the final look. We're using the entire Butter Butter <laughs> final look. Using the entire Butter Buddies collection, minus the highlight. So far, so good. I do feel like my skin feels very, like, not hydrated in a bad way. It doesn't feel cakey. It feels like all of the powders went on really smooth. My skin literally looks like glass. It feels like glass. Powders layered on it beautifully. And so we're just going to see, I think... What I want to do is I'll probably do an end of the day check-in just to let you guys know how my face is looking and if the powders kind of did their job, but so far so good. The only ones that I would say I'm not too completely convinced on is the bronzer and that's only really just because the color is slightly too light for me, although now that I'm looking, actually it doesn't look too bad, but I really had to pile this on to really kind of make an impact, so we will see. Time will tell. Obviously, as I do any kind of review like this, I will use these products for the rest of the week and I will not only do a check-in later today, but I will also check in on Friday and let you know my final thoughts. So yeah, see you guys in a bit. Okay, hey everyone. Um, so I actually just finished washing both of my dogs and there was a bit of a disaster in which, let's just say water got everywhere <laughs> and all over my face. And so I was pretty sure when I was done with this that my face was gonna be totally wrecked. But, I don't know, I, like, I mean, obviously you can see, like, where my skin is not doing well because I need to drink more water. Uh, but can you see that, like, nothing has moved in terms of just my foundation, my powder, my bronzer. The blush is the only one that I would say is probably a little bit faded, but for the most part, everything looks, like, good. And I'm talking face full of water three times. So that's pretty good for me. I will see you guys at the end of the day just to see how everything is looking, but damn. Okay, final check-in of the day. So here is my face. And for the most part, actually, Everything looks pretty intact. I think one of the things that I'm most impressed about, I know like it kind of looks kind of tired and creepy underneath my eyes, but they actually usually look worse than this, <laughs> which is really sad. Uh, but they actually look, it looks pretty good. It looks relatively hydrated. Um, I've had a really long day, obviously. I'm actually filming on Halloween, so happy belated Halloween. Um, but yeah, I mean, for the most part, I'm pretty impressed with the powders, pretty impressed with the staying power of everything. My foundation has definitely kind of come off throughout the day, but nothing too bad. And so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and keep using these powders for the rest of the week. And I will be back on Friday to let you guys know my final thoughts. See you then. Hey everyone, welcome back. It is now Friday and I have gathered my final thoughts on the Physicians Formula Butter Buddies collection minus the highlight, which I'm still salty about several weeks later, but that's okay. Anyway, so let's go ahead and talk about the product that I think was probably the least amazing for me, and that would actually be the Baby Butter Banana Powder. So for this, I just don't feel like it really was as brightening as some of the other banana powders that I have tried before. My favorite banana powder is the one that comes in the All Mar Cosmetics Hydrating Complexion Trio, so it's this Nope. This shade right here. So actually, if I swatch both of these, you can see the comparison in just pigmentation and how different it is. Like literally, you can see it on my fingers. This is Olimar and this is the Physicians Formula. It's just, it's just not quite as brightening as you would think, but they also market it as more of like a translucent powder. So for me, I'm kind of like, you know what, if you're gonna market it as a translucent powder, it does the job just fine. But in terms of if you really want that like scrumptious, <laughs> call back to earlier this week when I was filming for our first impressions. But anyway, if you want like more of that like scrumptious yellow banana, really, really brightening effect, I don't think that this powder is going to do it for you. Now, the rest of this collection is amazing. 
Also, if you can hear panting, by the way, Obi is sitting on the floor next to me, which is like, I love it when he sits next to me when I'm filming. So if you can hear the panting, just deal with it. We love our dogs. It's, it is what it is. Okay. Um, so the other two powders here, this is the Bitter Buddies Illuminating Powder and the Mattifying Powder. I actually really enjoyed both of these. I feel like the Mattifying Powder did an amazing job of just kind of smoothing out all of my pores, making my skin look absolutely flawless, setting down the foundation really well. And then of course, on top of that, every single powder that I lay on top of this just smooths on absolutely beautifully. So in terms of their face powders, I would definitely recommend checking out both of these. The illuminating powder is also really, really nice. If you just want a really nice, subtle, soft glow on the high points of your face, then this works really, really well. I obviously have um, highlight layered on top of it, but again, on its own, it's also super beautiful if you just want a subtle radiance. In terms of the blush and bronzer, again, I really enjoyed the bronzer once I felt like I could get the pigment to really build up. You can kind of see it here. It's still quite a bit lighter than what I'm used to, but as I approach more of my pale skin color as the winter comes along, I feel like it'll work really well. And then the blush I actually was really quite surprised with. I feel like this blush just gives you a very youthful glow to the skin versus that kind of like hit of pigmentation, which I really, really like in a blush. There are some days where I want something that's like kind of heavy, really gives a lot of color to my skin. And then there are some days where I just want it to brighten up everything give a very subtle flush to the skin. And I thought that this blush did that really, really well. So yeah, all right. I think that pretty much wraps up this video. In general, because this is drugstore pricing, I'm a lot more willing to like encourage you to go check it out if you're interested in it. So yeah, for the most part, I really enjoyed it all of these products. I'm really bummed again that I couldn't try the highlight for you guys, but it is what it is. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed watching this video, please feel free to like and subscribe to our channel and I will see you guys next week's video. Thanks again for watching. Bye. Welcome to today. <laughs> what? 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 You're like, what's that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right. I will use all of these products for the rest of the week 